Hi, this is Mrs. Knopf, and today we are going to continue in our method book with line 42, Saints Go Marching In. And as always, I want to point out what I really like about this method book is at the top of every page or two, there is a fingering chart dedicated to the notes on those pages. So let's take a quick look at this. So hopefully you can see all of this at this part of the screen, we have our A for clarinet, concert G, it's on the second space, and it is this toggle key up here, you don't cover any holes. And then we have our G, which is on the second line in the treble clap, and it's completely open, so nothing is colored in on the chart. Then we have our first space F, which is the thumb hole on the back of the clarinet. Then we have our E, which is on the first line, and we add the first finger to the thumb. Then we have a D, which is one space below the staff. We add the next finger, so we have thumb, one, two. And finally, we have our C, one ledger line below the staff, and we add the ring finger. So we have thumb in the back, one, two, three in the front. And now I'm going to adjust, and we're going to look for patterns. Well, that was a little further than I wanted to go. So we're going to look for some things in our music. First of all, we have our treble clef at the beginning, and then we have our time signature. We have 4-4. Four, four. The top number is the number of beats in each measure. The bottom number is the value of the whole note. So if the whole note gets four beats, then half of a whole is a half, half of four is two, so half notes get two beats. That's going to be important to remember in just a minute. Then half of a half is a quarter, half of two is one, so all of the quarter notes and quarter rests get one beat. Now we have some extra things to look at. First of all, we have whole notes tied over the bar line to quarter notes. So that tie is a musical plus sign. We take the value of the whole note, which is four, add it to the value of the quarter note, which is one, and for a total of five beats, you're holding this G. It happens again here. So we have a tie over the bar line because you can't fit five beats in a 4-4 time signature measure. So if you want to hold a note longer than the measure allows, you use a tie. It happens here as well with the D. Then we have something a little bit different. We have this dotted half note tied to a quarter note across the bar line. We have a dotted half note here as well. So let's talk about the dot. When you add a dot to a note, it adds half of that note's value. So if you remember that a half note gets two beats, half of two is one, so a dotted half note gets three beats. So this dotted half note gets three beats, as does this one, but when it's tied across the bar line to a quarter note, three beats plus one more beat, you're going to hold that F for four beats. All right, so let me adjust this so I am not so much in the way. Um, so we have the same pattern that happens a few times. We have C, E, F, G. C, E, F, G, and I'm not holding that G long enough. C, E, F, G, and then we change. E, C, E, D. So we have that opening statement three times before something different happens. And then we come down, so we are right here on the second line after that first quarter rest there. E, D, C. Then we have another C, go to the next line, E, G, 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 F, and you'll hold that through beat one of the next measure, rest on beat two, take advantage of that to breathe. And then we have something very similar to line two with a slight alteration, E, F, G, E, C, here's where it changes. D, C, but now we have this first ending. We take the first ending the first time through a piece of music, and then it is generally followed by a repeat sign 
with no other instructions. So we go all the way back to the beginning. We play through all of this again, but when we get here, on the second time, we skip the first ending and take the second ending. So instead of writing the whole thing out twice, they show us the first and second ending. So I'm gonna start a metronome. I hope you can keep up with me. And don't forget to start each note with a t sound so we get a clean, clear attack. Here we go. The metronome is going at 108. And I'm going to adjust so you can see my fingers a little bit better. And I will take it two times three. One, two, ready, and... And that's it for line 42, Saints Go Marching In. I did not pause between the first time and the second time. I did breathe on beat one at the beginning so I could come in on beat two on time. But I hope this helps, and we'll see you next time.